Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing my July TBR. If you're new, welcome to the family. Um, I hope you enjoy and get some good recommendations off of this video. Um, but like I said, it is my TBR and I haven't read these yet. I am just really looking forward to them. I do want to say if you can hear talking or voices in the background, my nephew is home and he's playing video games and he tends to get really loud. So if you hear screaming or anything, that's just him reacting to something happening on his video game. Sorry for the interruption, but it's summer now and that's going to be the new reality. <laughs> With the month of July comes one of my favorite readathons and is the Summerween readathon. And this month for July, it is from July 5th to the 11th. So I am hoping to participate in that. I did try and participate in the Winter Ween um, edition version of the readathon, but my reading was so bad. I didn't read anything during Summer Ween. So I'm really going to focus and concentrate on trying to get my books in for the week that Summerween is set for. So this is a readathon that is hosted by Gabby Reads on YouTube and she also has a Instagram page that is completely dedicated to Summerween and that is This Is Summerween, I believe. Yes, that is This Is Summerween on Instagram. Um, for Summerween there are like five prompts and it runs for a week and you can complete those five prompts during the week and they are usually also Instagram prompts for those seven days that you can post every day of Summerween too. Um, I think I did it one year, I think I did it last year for um, the Summerween in October. I might try to do it again this month, we'll see how everything goes, um, but let's get into the prompts for Summerween before I get into my TBR. So the prompts for Summerween if you see me looking down and looking at my iPad, which is in my lap, um, the prompts for Summerween this month are one, read a book in the dark, which is a prompt that we have every time, two, read a thriller or horror book, three, read a book with a night sky on the cover, four, read a book with five words in the title, and five, read a book that takes place in the summer. That prompt I have a little trouble with because you don't really know whether the book's gonna take place in the summer unless it's stated plainly on the back. And I believe the books I chose, most of them take place in the summer, but we will see. So I do have a few physical books for this, but most of these books are gonna be on my Kindle, which I put someplace and now I can't find. So the first book, which is for um, Summerween, is Into the Drowning Deep by, Mir by Mira Grant. This is a kind of like Marianas Trench mermaids horror um, and I've been wanting to read it for a while. It's also on my 24 books to read in 2024 of which I don't think I've read a single book and it's already July so I'm probably not going to finish that this year but I really want to read this. Um, it follows the sister of a crew member that went on the Argentis, which seven years ago disappeared um, on a voyage to film a mockumentary in the Marianas Trench. So now she is going on another voyage in order to find out what happened to her sister. All that was left was a brutal um, like video that one of the um, filmmakers had, one of the camera people had filmed, um, and that was all that was left. So I want to read this. I've heard great things. Um, I believe it's kind of like mixed media because there are transcripts from different things also in here. But this is the first one. This would probably be my horror thriller read. Although I do have another thriller. Um, but that's this one. The next three are on my Kindle. So pull that one up. Um, first we have The Girl Who Chased the Moon. You know what, I'll just stick the covers up here so it's easier for you to see. Um, this is by Sarah Addison Allen. Um, I 
have wanted to read Sarah Addison Allen's backlist for a while ever since I read Garden Spell I think it was two years ago and I wanted and I love that book so much that I wanted to read her backlist that I wanted to read her backlist and this is one of her backlist books um I don't know much about this but I do know it's kind of like either magical or it's magical adjacent I don't remember what the uh, magical realism something like that okay so it takes place in a little southern town that's said to have more magic than a full Carolina moon um, where two very different women discover how to find their place in the world no matter how out of place they feel so I believe it's kind of like a romance adjacent like mystery type feel but it sounds really cozy and it does have summer vibes so do want to pick that up so the next book I have is The Last of the Fire Drakes by Farrah Armorboy. Um, this is the first book in the Avalonia Chronicles and this will fulfill the night sky on the cover prompt but I'm just gonna read this because I don't really know what it says. She never felt like she belonged until magic pulled her into a world beyond her wildest imagination. 16 year old Aurora wishes she were anyone else. Mistreated by her adoptive family and bullied at school she believes things can't get any worse. But when she's kidnapped and dragged through an ancient tapestry into the magical world of Avalonia, she soon discovers that some dreams can easily turn into nightmares. Hunted by the evil tyrant Queen Morgana, who will stop at nothing to get rid of the last surviving heir to the power fire, powerful Fire Drake dynasty, Aurora struggles to fit into her new life as a mage at the prestigious Academy of Evalon. Threatened by treachery at every turn and desperate to prove herself worthy, she uncovers a dark, complicated web of political intrigue that threatens the very existence of the Seven Kingdoms of Avalonia. Aided by the powerful Drake of Silverthorn, a fey friend, and a handsome but mysterious outlaw called the Black Wolf, Aurora struggles to master her magic and get her rare powers under control before it's too late. If she fails, her new home and her family will be enslaved forever. So this is like a YA fantasy that has resilient heroines, plentiful magic, immortal fey warriors, and sizzling romance. Count me in. So... I love anything with romance in it. That's pretty much what I'll, what I read. Um, the next one is Indigo Ridge by Devney Perry. I don't really know why I put this on this TBR. Um, I'm not quite sure what I was going for. Um, maybe it takes place in the summer. I don't know offhand. I believe this is about a new chief or captain or something coming to a small town as the new head of police. Um, only to have a one night stand with one of the guys from the most powerful family in that town and then a murder occurs and he makes it really hard for her to do her job. I don't know. I believe that's the gist of it. And I've heard great things about the Eden series. I don't know so much that Indigo Ridge was the best book in that series but I think they get better as you go along. Indigo Ridge has been on my TBR and on my radar for a while so I do want to pick it up so see what that's all about um so we'll check that out this month and then the final book on my summer ween tbr is another one i wanted to pick up because i do want to watch the movies and i've heard these books are really good so i did go to my library and i got angels and demons by dan brown um sorry about the glare there we go um i don't know much about this except i know it's a thriller that about a secret brotherhood and a Harvard symbologist named Robert Langdon um, and a puzzles. So I want to watch the movies but first I have to read the book because that is just the person I am and this looks really chunky. It's a little over 570 pages. No, it's 569 pages so almost 570 pages. Um, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Hopefully it catches my interest. Um, and I've been in a real, like, mystery thriller mood, so that should help me get through this. Um, and that's my TBR for Summerween. I have a few books that I want to pick up this month also. I have, um, Leather and Lark by Bryn Weaver that's coming in my book of the month. Um subscription. I also have uh, The Last Story by 
Meg Schaefer coming in my book of the month. And the final book I have coming in my book of the month is The Ornithologist Field Guide to Love, which is by India Halton. Um, so that should be here within the next couple of days. I also started a new series last month by Annalie Huber, and it's the Lady Darby Mystery series. So the first book was The, the Anonymous Wife. So I do want to continue reading that book. Um, and I borrowed that from my library. I've heard a lot. I've heard that this series is compared to the um, Victoria Speedwell series, which I've only read book one, but I'm already moving on to book two for this one. But I really enjoyed The Anonymous Wife. It follows, um, it follows Kira Darby, who is an artist, but she was married off to her late husband, who was an 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 anatomist and he wanted to make the first um, accurate book of human anatomy and he married Kira so that she could draw out the designs for him and unfortunately during the time period it also kind of put suspicion on Kira because she was involved in something that women aren't generally involved in so the gist of the first book is there's a murder um at her sister and brother-in-law's estate and Kira is brought on as a consultant kind of and also so she can kind of clear her name because due to her history with her husband everybody believes that she could possibly have murdered this person um and she sets out to work with Sebastian Gage in order to find the person who actually committed the murder and I really enjoyed the twists and turns of this book. I found it really interesting. So I do want to pick up the sequel, which is Mortal Arts. And this follows Kira as she travels with her sister and her sister's family to Edinburgh. So while there, Kira kind of stumbles upon another mystery um, along with her romantic entanglement Sebastian Gage so do look forward to picking that up and then this next one has been on my shelves for years um and I have started it and I think I got pretty far but I haven't picked it up for a real long time um yeah it came out in 2021 so it's been at least three years um and it is the mysterious society of lady scoundrels by India Halton um who also wrote The Orindologist Field Guide of Love, which I'm waiting for, but this was part of her first series, which is the, um, what did she name this series? I don't remember, but there's three other books that are kind of like part of the series, but I have started this one. I didn't do want to finish it because I was enjoying it. It was funny. Um, there's a nice little romance going on, but this follows Cecilia Bassingleif, the ideal is the ideal Victorian lady. She's also a thief and she come across, comes across a pirate and there's magic and the houses fly and it's just, it's really fun. And I do want to pick this back up and finish it this time. And then the three other books, which is The League of Gentlemen Witches and the Secret Service of Tea and Treason. Those are the books on my TBR for this month. I'm sure I have more. Um, but I never really get to my TBR. I'm very much a mood reader, but I'm in the mood for all of these books. So we'll hopefully stay in the mood for all of these books. Um, so these are the ones I have physical copies of. I also have the ones on my Kindle. Um, so I guess that can go on top. But I will have a list down below of all the books I mentioned in today's video. Um, let me know, are you participating in Summerween? It's in a couple of days because the day I'm filming this is the 1st of July. So I really want to get this book, this video out before, um, Summerween starts. Then also let me know what you're reading. What are you doing, reading this month? How was your reading last month? Um, have you read any of those books? Are they interesting? Are they good? Do you recommend them? Uh, have a... Don't forget to um, don't forget to like and subscribe. Have a great day or night wherever you are and don't forget to pick up a good book. Bye.